always playing a factor when people want to get out and vote. And around here today, what's it looking like, Michelle? I'm going to want a warm coat, okay. but otherwise, no big trouble getting out to the polls today as Good. we take a look at the conditions outside right now. On a start off in North Kingstown, we're beginning our day mostly cloudy. Temperatures are in the upper 30s and lower 40s, and there is some activity on the radar. Nothing locally, but if we widen out the view, you can see some rain and snow showers cutting across Worcester and Springfield this morning, and some of those dipping into the northwestern part of Connecticut as well. And as these continue to push south, and east along a cold front, we could see our own rain or snow shower here over the next several hours of the morning. We are going to keep our threat tracker in the green, though, with temperatures above freezing. I don't expect any significant trouble for you. Wednesday and Thursday's threat tracker is also in the green. We still have a wind advisory on the islands, Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. That continues until 11 o'clock this morning. Still the potential in those areas for gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. Right now, the wind gusts, for the most part, are between about 25 and 35 miles per hour, except when you get out on the islands, and that's when you're still seeing those gusts over 40. Here's the temperatures, and you add in the winds, that 40 degree temperature in Providence and 42, Newport, 37 in Smithfield feels colder. So upper 20s to lower 30s for the current wind chill in Smithfield and Providence right now 35 what it feels like in Newport. This is a look at the wind gust forecast. So notice at nine o'clock in the morning we're still gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour across Rhode Island and noontime gusts are closer to 25 to 35 and in the second half of the day those wind speeds will gradually come down. So we are looking at lighter winds by the end of the day today. So here's how that election day looks. Our forecast this morning a sprinkle or flurry at 8 a.m around 41 degrees by 10 a.m. 42 and we're back to sunshine but still those gusty winds at lunchtime middle 40s and these are well below normal highs this afternoon middle 40s at two o'clock five o'clock in the evening about 41 and by 8 o'clock, we're cold and dry. So here's that cold front I mentioned pushing through today. Going to reinforce the chill for us at least for one more day. As that front pushes through, notice at 7 o'clock in the morning, that shower, rain or snow passing through by 10 o'clock. It's offshore and the rest of the day looking dry. It will be cold tonight with overnight lows cooling to around 30 degrees. It'll be our coldest night of the work week. And then tomorrow, we'll start to warm things up. With the gusty winds, there's still a gale warning in effect on the bay until 11 a.m. With the wind gusting to 40 this morning, waves two to four feet. I tied just before 9 a.m. Got a major situation here developing down across Central America as a major hurricane Ada bears down. This is close to being a Category 5 storm, unfortunately, as it approaches the Nicaraguan coastline this morning. It'll be uh, gradually weakening as it moves over shore, but then over land, but then it emerges back into the Caribbean. And by Sunday, it could be strengthening again. This is back up to a tropical storm by Saturday night. Seven day forecast. Temperatures are on the rise, mid 40s today, mid 50s for tomorrow. So a chilly start in the morning and then a nice day setting up with lighter winds and brighter skies. Look at the temperatures on Thursday afternoon, middle 60s, much warmer than what we've been experiencing. And that warm air lasts right through the weekend and much of next week.